G'day guys, welcome to Rumble's Fish Room. So I was being a bad YouTuber and I started doing a project without filming, but the good thing is I didn't start the project yet and we can do it together. So um, I told you guys it's going to be a mission to try get the bottom of the stingray tank dry. Um, turns out it is, I was correct. Uh, so uh, the problem is there's lots of leaks. Let me put another headphone in, but let's get stuck into it. Alright, so if you look down there, there's a hose. It's about 8 millimeters to 10 millimeters external diameter. That hose goes all the way up there, where if you can see it, you can't really see it on camera, it's behind the black ones. But anyway, I don't need that hose anymore. So we're going to make a patch for it out of this pipe here. Um, it's going to be a bit of a, oh, it shouldn't be too hard actually, but the only problem is we've got a very small space to work with because there's so many pipes up there. Um, so let me cut a little piece off here. Alright guys, so it's a little bit naughty. Um, I actually used the drop saw and scalloped out a section. Um, definitely not the safest way to do it. But, so this is to cover our hole. And then we had a brand new, well not brand new, almost new bottle of glue. So I'll find the glue. Alright guys, I found the glue. Camera's not going to focus. I also found um, 500 mils of catalyst, which is going to come in really handy in a couple of weeks. Um, but anyway, so now we've got the glue. Uh, we're going to climb up on this fish tank here, stand on it, because that's what it do. Um, and then, so, see the problem here is this piece of pipe. Oh wow, I've cut it the exact right size. So, if I move this hose over here, you'll see this sleeve needs to fit in between those two hoses and actually cover that hole there. Whoops, that scared the shit out of me. I just dropped the hose and then wondered why there was loud noises below me. Um, I actually just turned the water change system on to figure out where the water's coming from. So that's why there's water pouring out of that. Um, this actually kind of needs to be dry for this situation. Check out this boy here. He's actually a nice fish. He's a really nice fish. Should I, I, might, I should breed him. Anyway, that's some sidetracked. Um, what do you guys reckon? I should really let the water drip completely and then dry it. Yeah, we'll do it properly. Man, that's been dripping for like 10 minutes. I'm pretty sure this bit here is the lowest point of the whole water change system. <laughs> um, because it was all level, so I made the pipe level and then it turned out like some of these tanks were interfering with the pipe and that. So I think this wall here is the original level I had it. And then all around the room where these tanks are, I had to lift it like 20 or 30 mil just to get the tanks in. Like over there, you can see it's hard up against the tank. Um, you can also see that I should have used like um, stainless steel collars or anything besides normal steel. Um, that's still dripping. But one thing I wanted to say in the video here, if you look closely, I don't know if you're able to see it on video. We can tell by the wall there, see that mold mark on the wall. But all of these filters are like shooting off little micro drips of water. So that's what's going to stitch us up in this situation. Um, I think I might just put taps on them and turn them down. I, I don't even know, I wouldn't mind learning, if anybody knows, a sponge filter, right? If it's like that, is that efficient or is it more efficient to turn it down a bit? Um, that's a poor example as well. So like, imagine it halfway between that and that. Um, 
It'd be interesting to know if it gets past its efficiency point with that much air. Um, I'm going to say yes, even though I don't know, <laughs> but it's just a guess. Check out this little guy here. This is turning into a check out this fish video. Um, this guy keeps getting prolapsed, but and he's got um, a pot belly, so um, I might feed him some shelled peas. Have we stopped dripping yet? No, we haven't. I kind of just want to put it on while it's still dripping, but I know I'll regret it. It'll end up leaking again. I don't understand that. That just stopped dripping when I wiped it. I don't know if I can like just wipe it with the PVC glue to displace the water. Um, probably not. That sounds like a horrible idea. This is meant to be a short little five minute video that took me five minutes to make. And um, just the fact that this water, this is the lowest point. It's turning into a half an hour video. That's all right, but I don't really have any plans today. I'm just chilling. Um, I've got plans tomorrow, but tomorrow's plans day. Um, all right, so I reckon instead of I could get the acetone out. Um, oh, guys, it's crazy how much quieter the fish room is without that air pump running. Can you guys tell the difference? I don't know. Um, it's hard for you guys to actually tell the difference because at the same time as getting that, I also got a new microphone. Um, but the point was... What was the point? Oh, yeah. When I set that air pump back up, I'm low-key thinking... I should put the air pump in the back. Go. Oh no, no. Worst case scenario. I've, I'm a clumsy git, git, aren't I? Um, I think, I don't know if it's just because I'm filming or what, but we've really come to the establishment that I just drew. Oh, that's got. No. I'm trying to rush because the glue's going to go off. That was a bad time. All right, so I'm just gonna keep, oh, my foot's stuck to the tank. Keep pressure on here. Um, I don't think, I think that should be pretty solid. Um, quite a lot of surface area. Uh, I, I dried that pretty well on my shirt. Um, we could have gone like two, three millimeters wider. You see there, there's a tiny little gap. So what I'm gonna have to, so if this doesn't work, I'm actually gonna delete all of them and move them over there and then patch that whole piece. Um, if I move it over there and it drips, oh, that guy tried to bite my finger. Um, if it drips there, it's not a big deal because it's landing in that tank. Um, but anyway, we're going to put some taps on these. My foot's sticky now. Um, so I'll let you in on a little secret. Some of this here on this tank, it's weird. It's still sticky. And I think it's because um, this is um, gel coat and or flow coat, whichever one's got the wax in it. Um, it never saw UV light. Um, so like, I always kept it inside and it never dried properly. But luckily, it's only aesthetic. It's not the internals or the blue. Um, so sometimes we make mistakes, guys, and that's one of mine. I probably maybe didn't put enough hardener in it as well. We'll, we'll say that. Um, I, I generally am overcautious with my hardener. All right, so we're not pausing the clip. We're keeping it in the same one. So this one here already has a tap on it. Oh wow, that just went from everything to nothing. That one there, no tap. Also world's shortest hose. Should I just try to find a, a piece of lid? Let's try, some, let's try to find some lid pieces. All right guys, so 
I've reduced that one a little bit, put a tap there. Hot little tip. Um, if you're gonna add a tap, a tip. If you're gonna add a tap to an existing line, feel the line and find a soft spot. So like all the bit that's in the water's all stiff, up there was softer. Um, cut the line there and then put it on. Um, this one here is going slow, which means the bottom plate needs a clean, but I'm not gonna clean it. Um, I will say, trying to keep the fish room floor dry is a sport. Um, it's harder than a sport. So like now, I want to vacuum the bottom of this tank. And I always just vacuum onto the floor. But right now, because I'm trying to um, eliminate water on the floor, I don't want to just soak the floor to clean the tank. So that's going to have to wait a couple of days. Um, but yeah, my heart goes out to all the people that have got fish tanks in their house because I'm just now remembering how hard it is. The main reason I don't want to vac onto the ground right now is this water here. So I'm trying to, uh, what do you call it? What's the word? I, I want to say negotiate, that's the wrong word. I'm monitoring this water. Obviously this bucket here isn't helping. Um, that's obviously going straight onto the ground. That filter only needs a little bit of air. I'm only trying to keep it cycled for this batch here, which is about to happen. I guess I probably should have opened the video with that. Um, but what's my point? Oh yeah, so we need to monitor that water. Um, I'm so close to getting the floor dry. Um, it'll be a huge achievement for me, guys. I'm not even joking, massive achievement. Um, so this water here, clearly coming from that fitting there, um, which is gonna be a pain to fix. If you look, that's a, I've actually scalloped the side of this timber. Hang on, if I get some light, shed some light on the situation. See how I've like scalloped the timber and glued that in there? That's gonna be fun to repair. Um, it, that's just me being a cheap, cheap cheapy. I scalloped for that one too. Um, I could have used real fittings, but instead I just um, drilled a 20, 30 something mil hole. I think my drill bit's like 31.5 or something. Hole in the pipe and then glued that flexi hose in. Um, obviously, you can see in that situation, it's not very effective. Um, I should kind of pull some water out of that. I swear I just turned that filter down and it's back to full ball. Where can I put those fish? It'd be nice to move those fish off the ground. I need to do something about this stain. I've got a grinding disc. I'll show you. Maybe, yeah, I will show you. I've got this disc here. But the problem is it'll make the floor rough. Whereas at the moment it's grinded down to quite a fine finish. So, I don't know. And also, if I use that disc on that area there, I would have to do the whole floor because otherwise it's going to look brighter there than uh, the rest of the floor. Obviously, it's not going to stay this dirty. Um, it's probably, to give you an example, if you see like that light patch there, that's pretty much the colour it is when it's clean. Um, but there's no point in doing the floor until that there is dry. So that's the future of what we need to get done. I think I'm gonna call this video behind the scenes in a fish room because it kind of shows the struggles of a fish room. Um, the main issue is I've never ever really done maintenance on the water change system. Um, that leaking pond was a really negative thing on the whole room because every time I saw water on the ground it was just related to that pond and it's funny how as soon as I shut that pond down we found leaking tanks, we found leaking pipes. Um, that's just like probably three years of me neglecting the fact that other things are leaking besides the pond. Um, but hey, we'll get it fixed. Um, it's not all roses. I'd rather a leaky tank than sick fish. And touch wood, I've got no sick fish at them. Oh, actually goldfish, but 
the goldfish I wouldn't class as sick, they just randomly die. <laughs> but anyway guys, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to subscribe for more, hit that little red button. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace out.